Here I am, your activities manager on board the beautiful navigator of the seas all the way from Mexico. By the way, did you enjoy Mazatlan? Did you enjoy Cabo San Lucas? Are you ready for Puerto Vallarta? Yeah, right. Remember to eat some tacos, drink some margaritas, okay? Puerto Vallarta is the mariachi place, okay? So if you see some mariachis, just ask for a song and you can sing with them, all right? Who is ready for the game show? All right, this is the love and marriage game show, all right? So how many couples do we have in the house? Raise your hands. Oh. Oh, wow. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> wow, so many. Who wants to play? Raise your hand. Yes, okay. All right, we're about to start. But to start, just before starting, we are going to run some auditions, okay? We are looking for three couples only, just three couples, okay? But to run these auditions, please give it up for Aaron, your team night captain on board, everyone. Yes, Aaron, all the way from Mongolia. Yes, okay, so she's gonna be helping us out to choose the couples for the game show tonight. Okay, for the first couple, first couple of the night, I'm looking for the couple who's been married for the longest time. Okay, maybe, uh, what about um, 30 years or more, over 30 years? What about 35? 35, 35 or more, <laughs> 35 or more. What about 40? 40, 40, yeah, 40 or more. Who else, 40 or more? Here, two couples, where else, there, back there? Yes, ah, there, up there, okay, 40 or more, okay. For, uh, but, uh, there as well, okay, 45 or more. Ah, no one? <laughs> 45. There? 45? 47. 47. 47 or more. 47? Where, where's the couple? Raise your hand. Raise your hand. 47. Where? And they want to participate? No? <laughs> no? <laughs> oh, come on. The, the, Give it up for them, 47 years married, everyone. Wow, good job, good job. 47, I can, she, she, I just see your hands, baby. 46? 46, oh, 46, and you want to participate? Yes, He's, why not, yes, please. Join the stage, 46, 46 or more here, no? 46, yes. There they go, all the way from deck number four. No worries, no rush. We're just waiting for you. <laughs> all right, there they go. Please give it up for our first couple of the night. 46 years together. Okay, but how, how many years you've been together? 43, 43, almost there. Give it up for our couple here in the first time, of course. And here, you guys, how, for how long? 40 on Friday, 40, oh, happy anniversary. Yes, please give it up for our couple here. Welcome everyone. Okay, so our first couple are on the way, okay? We are looking for two more, two more. For the next couple, I'm looking for the newlyweds, maybe some honeymooners. Do we have honeymooners? Honeymooners, recently married, maybe a few months, maybe a few days, maybe a few years, one, two, three years together. <laughs> okay, okay, raise your hand, raise your hand, okay? How, for how long you've been together? Three years. three years, yes, three years, stand up, stand up. Who else? Recently married, recently married, there? Yes, stand up, stand up, recently married. For how long you've been married? Three weeks. Three weeks? Three weeks. How about that? Yes, if you wanna join the game, just stand up because we're about to run these auditions. Who else? Recently married? Honeymooners? There. Okay, you stand up, stand up. For how long you've been together, guys? Two years. Okay, we have three couples so far. We have three couples so far, right? One, two, and three. Okay. For this audition. Oh, she's getting ready. 
<laughs> okay, for this abridge, <laughs> we are looking for something, but who is gonna help me out to decide? The audience, obviously, okay? You are the judge, okay? You will help me out. So for this audition, we are looking for the most passionate kiss. I wanna see passion. I wanna see fire. I wanna see technique. <laughs> okay, so couple number one. If you're ready, we are ready in three, two, one, and action. <laughs> okay, I'm looking for a couple that's been married maybe for over 10 years, 10 to 25. 10 to 25, I know, it's a big spectrum right there. Okay, if you've been married for in between 10 and 25 years old, raise your hand and stand up. Yes, stand up please. I have one couple here. One couple were in there. Yes, stand up, stand up, please. Stand up, stand up. <laughs> where, I not, I thought it was the two of you. Ah, uh, there's the husbands, there's the husbands. Okay, <laughs> Okay, what about here? 14, yes, of course, stand up, stand up. Okay, and there, right? Is it you? The, Ah, you are nominating somebody else, right? Of course. Okay, yes, stand up, stand up. Up there, yes, of course, you can participate. Yes, there they are, okay. All right, we have so far one, two, three, four couples. Okay. Five? Where is our fifth couple? Yes, stand up, stand up. Yes, there they are. <laughs> Okay guys, for this audition, easy. We are sailing from LA, from Los Angeles, right? And in LA, we have Hollywood, right? And in Hollywood, they make movies, movies everywhere. So we are gonna pretend that we are doing a movie here. The movie, <laughs> she's like, oh my, <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> okay, the movie is, Tarzan, Tarzan. So we have two characters in this movie. <laughs> we have two characters in this movie. Tarzan and Jane, okay? You decide which role you wanna play. Okay, we need one Tarzan and one Jane. The, uh, the lines. For, ta, uh, for Jane first, for Jane. Jane, the situation is you are lost in the middle of the jungle and you are looking for Tarzan. So your line is, Tarzan, Tarzan, where are you, Tarzan? 
That's it. Easy. Okay? Tarzan. You are in the middle of the jungle. Suddenly you see Jane. Finally you found Jane. And then you go there all the way to her and you say, Jane, meet Tarzan. You, Jane, let's play this game. Okay? Easy. Easy peasy. You ready, guys? No pressure. Get ready. Couple number one, couple number two, couple number three, four, and five. Okay? Get ready. If you're ready, we are ready in three, two, one, and action. Good job, good job. <laughs> Couple number two, if you're ready, we are ready. In three, two, one in action. She forgot the lines. <laughs> and action. <laughs> she forgot the lines, it's only two words. <laughs> I can't help you. <laughs> Couple number three, if we're ready, we are ready. In three, two, one, and action. How many months, days, or maybe a year have you been married for? 
Three weeks. Three weeks? What are you guys doing here? Three weeks, you should be already... We're you know. older. <laughs> but always young inside, right? Young Absolutely. Inside. Yeah. All right. Well, what is, if you have to describe your marriage at this moment, one word to describe your marriage? Tell me. Very hot. Ooh. Give it up for the honeymooners right here. Very hot. All right, and who do we have here? Where are you guys from? Renee. And? You did you forget my name? <laughs> Jason. Renee and Jason from? New Jersey. New Jersey! How many years of beautiful marriage? 21 years. 21 years. Who are you coming with in this cruise? Somebody? My daughter and her boyfriend. Where are they? <laughs> oh, wow. Stand up. You got me up here. Oh, it's too late now. Oh, wow. I understand everything now. Beautiful. All right. And what will be one word to describe your marriage? Spicy. Spicy. Oh, la, la. We're going to find out later. Let's see. How spicy is that, right? And here we have our heroes. Our example to follow, right? Your name, my love. What is your name? Barb. Barb. From? Uh, Houston, Texas. Houston, Texas. Barb and Brooks, right? Correct. How many years of marriage? Since 1976. 1976. Wow. You're going to make us make the math. Yeah, okay. Do math. So, somebody that is good at math. 46. 46. There you go. 46 of marriage. Okay, I will change the question for you. All right, one, tell me, how can you have a long, long marriage? What is the secret for a long marriage? Ooh, this is gonna come out good, huh? She's never had a headache. Oh, yes, that's the way, uh -huh, uh -huh, I like it. so well and I'm so excited and by the way couples tomorrow morning very very early we're gonna have in channel number one this game show for the whole ship to watch what about that I bet that when you came on board you never saw this coming right but there you go channel number one tomorrow you're gonna be famous everybody will look at you and your dirty laundry I mean your secrets all right, but it's going to be the turn for the ladies to leave, all right? So give your boyfriends, your husbands, your better half, your so many ways now to describe your better half, but give them a kiss as a goodbye. And ladies, please stand up and follow around part of your cruise director staff. And we have in the backstage the cast of Magic Mike for you. There you go. Ooh, why not? All right, give it up for the ladies that are leaving the stage right now. And gentlemen, the time has come to tell me everything about it. All right, so I'm going to make you those tricky questions. So let's start with you, Lori. Let's wait, the ladies are leaving. Oh, that's you, Ke Kelly, you're Kelly. Oh. All right, she's gone. So, when was your first date and how much you spent? <laughs> you just got married. You've got to be kidding me. Um, it was a Mexican restaurant, Pancho Lepis, and I spent $30. $30? <laughs> All right, very cheap. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> like Jason. First, qu same question applies to you. When was your first date and how much you spent? It was at the Sizzler. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> go big or go home, huh? That's right. It's probably about 25 bucks. 25 bucks. This is getting better and better. All right, Brooks. I know that that was a long time ago. But when was your first date and how much you spent? When? You can tell me where, whatever you remember, you know? Yeah, I have no idea when. Mm -hmm. Right? 
You remember the place? What oh, did yeah, you guys I do? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I took her boating. Mm -hmm. All right, and oh, I okay. spent absolutely nothing. Okay, <laughs> perfect. Back in the day. All right, let's start. All of you gentlemen, close your eyes right now. Close your eyes, close your eyes. No cheating. Perfect. Imagine you're on a desert island, okay? And you see someone coming, but it's the one person on her side of the family that you don't like. <laughs> so who is it, Jason? Yes. And that's why your children are right there in front of you. You have to pay for a therapy later, but anyway. you got it. I don't know. That's a tough question. What? Sad. <laughs> That's why I made him. Probably my mother-in-law. Wow. What's her name? Tell me more. I'm going to tell you her name. You can Google anything these days. You're gonna Google it. But why? Why do you not like her? Tell us more, right? You already drop it there. Go for it now. Could be a little intrusive sometimes. <laughs> oh. oh, now we know. Are you writing down? Are you recording this? The sound? Yeah. You're wasting your time, man. What happens on the ship stays on Instagram now. You're Are you videotaping that? <laughs> You better not be. <laughs> Kelly, same question. Who is it? Oh, I like all her family. Aww, <laughs> boring. I know. Tell if me. If I had to say, I would say probably her daughter-in-law, Bree. Only because she <laughs> is, like, hard. Hard? In what way? She, like, she doesn't let her see the grandkids that much. Oh, okay, I understand. Mm -hmm. You guys are opening your hearts here. <laughs> All right, Brooks, same question. You got it. You look like you got it. Yeah, well, I thought about this a lot. <laughs> I'm glad you did. And um, I, I presume that you didn't That's want anybody that was dead. Like... Because... <laughs> That would scare me no matter who showed up. So I'm gonna I'm gonna say my brother-in-law. What's his name? Bob. Bob. And what this guy is doing? Why? He's not as much fun as he used to be. <laughs> He's boring, in other words. Okay. All right, we're gonna start with you, Brooks. I love this question. How was last night for you, gentlemen? How was last night? Was it like 4th of July, fireworks? Was it like Thanksgiving, lying next to a turkey? <laughs> like Halloween, tricks and treats? Or like Memorial Day, honoring the dead? <laughs> so, Brooks, we believe in you. How was last night for you? Last night. Um, what was the last one? <laughs> <laughs> Memorial Day. Honoring the dead. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> thank you, thank you. All right, I'll leave you for the end. Don't worry, coming back. <laughs> Kelly, I repeat the options. 4th of July, fireworks. Thanksgiving, lying next to turkey. Halloween, tricks and treats. Or Memorial Day, honoring the dead. To just Fourth of July. Yes! Fourth of July! I'm so proud. All right, and Jason, for you will be? Definitely Fourth of July. Yes! There you go. All right, now we are going to the final question for this round. The final question. We're going to start with you, Jason. Again? Yes. <laughs> That's why you're here. Embrace the pain. Okay. If you could change anything about your wife. Uh oh. It's too late now. You're already here. If you could change anything about your life. About your life, sorry. About your wife. 
Why would you make? <laughs> no, no, I'm not giving you a hint. Sorry. Why would you make bigger? And why would you make smaller about her? Same question for you, gentlemen. If you could change anything about your wives, I know they are perfect and everything, but what would you make bigger and smaller? So Jason. I know, right? Do you want me to come back to you? Yeah, please. Okay, I'm back. I'm back. A little too fast. <laughs> I know, I'm fast and furious. <laughs> so tell me, what would you make bigger and smaller? I spare you, gentlemen, you can mention something about her personality. Why not? But we want to know the juicy stuff, right? That's why we're here, right? Don't worry, we already want to watch this on TV. <laughs> Something bigger and something smaller. Something bigger? Mm -hmm. Maybe up here. <laughs> oh, okay. That's good, that's a good start. Okay, what about smaller? Smaller. Anything smaller? I don't think I have anything. Spending habits. Oh, wow. They're giving you so much, so many that's ideas. True. Yeah, spending habits. Yeah, that's true. She's a big spender. All right. Most jewelry. <gasps> jewelry. They all do. Yeah, well, you know. This is gonna be really hard. <laughs> <laughs> make bigger something that you can make bigger about her. Well, um, I would make her boobs bigger because they're just fine, but but I would make her butt smaller. <laughs> Because it's fine too, but I would say, ugh. Oh. oh wow! <laughs> you need something to drink? You can get this. Yes. <laughs> um, bigger. Um. Can you get me a chair? I think we're gonna be here until late in the morning for tomorrow. <laughs> I just really like the way she is right now. Aww! Because I can't keep her! Now tell us the truth. Okay. Right? Smaller ego. Smaller ego. You said booty first. So booty or the ego? Ooh, this is getting better. Okay, ego. And bigger... Why are you looking at me? Feet. Feet, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was a fast exit. Okay, I'll leave you to it. Bruce! Well, magic is going to be difficult, so I'll just throw something out there. I'll go with a bigger butt and a smaller tummy. Smaller tummy. Ooh. I can't wait for her to come back, right? Somebody's going to be sleeping in the pool tonight. Okay. All right, give it up for the gentleman right now. They look so depressed at the moment. <laughs> and let's bring back the ladies. Oh, when they come back, please clap for them, okay? Cheer, get crazy. Good luck, God bless you. God bless you. Don't worry. Here we have the one and only, the better half, the ladies. Give it up for the ladies. They look so happy, look at that. Big smile on their faces. Oh. This is an exciting moment. Don't worry ladies, everything is under control. Okay, so every time that you have a match, you're gonna kiss your better half, okay? But if the gentleman or you don't have the same answer, you're gonna slap them. No, I'm joking. Don't, don't. Okay, so let's start with you. Lori, I asked your husband, when was your first date and how much you spent? So tell me. In the microphone. When was your first date? What did you do? Maybe Septem we were... Two Septembers ago. I can tell you where we went. Where did you go? Poncho and Lefties. 
And I don't know how much she spent, maybe... It was Taco Tuesday prep night, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Maybe 25 bucks. Yes! Give her a kiss, 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 come on. Kiss her. Oh, Kiss! Where's the love? Oh my god, it took forever. Okay. Renee, same question for you. When was your first date and how much you spent? 25 years ago? <laughs> Where did you go? Oh, we went to um, steak and ham. Okay. Steak and something. <laughs> and how much? Uh, 50 bucks. Ooh, he said. He said 25, actually. And 25. when? And where? They're so close, no match there, it's lucky. No, I'm joking, don't do anything. Okay. Barb! Yeah. When was your first date? 67 years ago. Mm hmm. But do you remember where? Where did he take you? Yeah, we were boating. Okay. <laughs> and did you spend anything? No, we didn't. That's a and this is for all of you ladies. I ask your husband to close your eyes and imagine this. They are on a desert island and they see someone or your family that they don't like. So who is it? Yes. My mother. You got it so clear, huh? What's wrong with her bitch? Oh, I'm wrong, I'm joking. What's wrong with her? <laughs> okay, that's fine. We can leave it there. Okay, so, Lori, do you know what side of your family he doesn't like? Was it mouth to mouth? Like, save your life? Did you need, was... Whoa. No, what person on your side, on your family? He has to be on my family to save his life. No! Why is something related to save the life? No. We're not killing anyone tonight. No, no, no. So, he sees somebody of your side of the family that he doesn't like. So who do you think he doesn't like of your family? No pressure, but everybody's looking at you right now. Penny. Oh gosh. Who's Penny? Who's Penny? My sister-in-law. Your sister-in-law. Yeah. Is that correct? Yes. That's a match. What did he say? Yeah. No, I said three. So no match over there, all right. That's okay, we still have questions, no worries, no worries. Barb! So who do you think he doesn't like of your family? Ooh, so close, but so far he said... Brother-in-law, Bob. Uh-oh, I'll leave you guys to discuss this situation. <laughs> okay, this is so much fun. I'm bringing families together. <laughs> All right, this question is gonna cheer you up, Lori. For sure. Tell me, how was last night for you? It was like 4th of July, fireworks. Was it like Thanksgiving, lying next to Turkey? Was it like Halloween, tricks and treats, or like Memorial Day, honoring the dead? Fourth of July. Fourth of July it is! Give him a kiss, come on. Renee, the same for you. How was last night? Fourth of July, fireworks, Thanksgiving, lying next to Turkey. Oh, wow. Wait, wait. <laughs> Halloween, tricks and treats, or Memorial Day, honoring the dead? Fourth of July. Four of July, that's a match. Perfect. All right, Barb, we believe in you. Everybody, Barb, Barb. How was last night for you? All right. <laughs> it 
these doors? Oh my god. I'll repeat the options. 4 of July, fireworks. No. No, okay. We're getting there, people. We're getting there. Thanksgiving, lying next to turkey. Halloween, tricks and treats. Or Memorial Day, honoring the dead. Memorial Day. Yeah! with my favorite question. Rene, I asked Jason, if you could change anything, not talking, not talking, if you could change anything about your wife, what would you make bigger and what would you make smaller? He said, my wife is perfect, but he wants me to have bigger boobs. <laughs> yes, that's correct. And what about the smaller? Look at him! <laughs> yes. Oh, he said... The spender habits. Oh, you're a big spender, girl. Oh, yeah. Your kids are even saying that, yeah. All right, so half of a point, half of a point. Lori, the same question. What do you think he said that he's going to make bigger and smaller? Smaller, my nose. Oh, so cute. And bigger. <laughs> Nothing. Um, my brain. <laughs> Why? That's so I'm a big girl already. Oh. But he said. He said bigger feet. <laughs> bigger and, feet. And a smaller ego. Ooh. Okay, all right. This is going so well, right? Perfect. All right, but now is the turn for the gentleman to stand up and follow her on. Oh, one more. Yes, you're right. I just did to see if you're paying attention. All right. Barb, what do you think he said he can make bigger and smaller? Bigger boobs. Bigger boobs and smaller? What? What? But he said... He said bigger butt? And a smaller tummy. tummy. <laughs> you go for it, girl. You go ahead. All right, give it up for the ladies. Gentlemen, please stand up and follow along. Don't worry, gentlemen. That's okay. It's too late already. Too late to apologize. But ladies, this is called revenge. Right. It's your turn to tell me everything about them. So let's check. Let's wait until the gentlemen go. And let's go with round number two. So, Lori, we start with you. Tell us, what is your husband's most annoying habit? Oh, wow. Snoring. Snoring. Perfect. She's got it. Rene, same question for you. What is your husband's most annoying habit? He's cheap. <laughs> wow. And you're asking him for jewelry. Wow, it's going so well. Barb, what is your husband's most annoying habit? He's what, sorry? He's on the internet too much. He sits, stays on the internet too much. Wow, what is he doing on the internet? Don't tell me, don't tell me. It's all right. No, he doesn't. Oh, wow. So, ladies, for you, which of the following movie titles best describes your love life? Is it like... One second. Yeah. Is it like, yeah, it's true. Fast and Furious? Is it like Toy Story? Is it like a series of unfortunate events? <laughs> or Gone with the Wind? Don't know that. Wait. 
So once again, which of the following movie titles best describes your love life at this moment? Fast and Furious, Toy Story, A Series of Unfortunate Events, or Gone with the Wind? Fast and Furious. Fast and Furious it is. Renee? I second that, Fast and Furious. Fast and Furious! Barb, we believe in you. She said, Gone with the Wind. Gone with the Wind. All right, now, ladies, picture this moment. Your husbands, they come out of the shower, the steamy shower in all their glory. All right. So what do you see? Do you see a stretch limo? Do you see a Ford dump truck? Or a little pink Volkswagen with two flat tires? Just come out of the steamy shower, right? So Renee, you look like you got it. So tell me, what is it? Stretch limo all the way. Stretch limo it is! Lori! Stretch limo. Stretch limo as well. I know, right? The options are a stretch limo, four dump truck, or a little pink Volkswagen with two flat tires. She's straight to the point, that one. I love it, she's so honest. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna start. I'm gonna leave you for the end once again. Renee, where is the this is the last last question? So where is the most unique place you guys ever made? The horizontal mumble, something like that. I don't know. So, tell me. The beach. The beach? On the sand? Oh, wow. Don't worry, your kids are already here and they're already recording, but uh, it's all good, it's all good. So, that was on the beach. For you, Lori? The Raiders Stadium in Las Vegas. <laughs> I bow to you. I bow to you. Tell me more about it. What happened? How you decide to come with this idea? Kelly bought season tickets, and it was they invited um, the season ticket holders to come to the opening event before they had their first game. So I wanted to be special for him. So huh? uh, Merry Christmas. Oh wow! This is so nice. All right, so, Barb. <laughs> She's like, whatever. Uh, I know that you have like 10,000 places in your mind, right? But if you can choose just one, what is the most unique and memorable place that you ever made will be? On a boat. On a boat? Yeah. Oh, wow. What happened? Like, is that the first date? <laughs> yeah! Same thing that we did today, we just walk and enjoy our day. Tonight, remember this one hour forward, so change your watches and your clocks, okay? One hour forward tonight. But, give it up for the gentlemen that are coming right now. Come on, people, louder. Here we are. They look so excited. Look at Brooks. All right. Gentlemen, take the mics right now. It's your time to, your turn to answer. So, Kelly, I asked your beautiful wife, what is your most annoying habit? So tell me. 
my story. That's correct. Thank you so much. Jason, what is your most annoying habit? Don't worry, because we already know. Uh, I would say the same thing, my snoring. She uh, said... Cheap. cheap. You are cheap, man. You are cheap. It's reality. Show them all the jewelry on your hand there. How about that? That ain't cheap. <laughs> no problem. It's okay. <laughs> Life is good. All right, Brooks, same question. What is your most annoying habit? Well, let's see, with so many to choose from. <laughs> yeah, she mentioned I'll, a lot. I'll just, I'll, just, I'll just stick with snoring. Snoring, the right answer is? You spend so many time in the internet. <laughs> what are you doing on the internet? I said too many habits. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, we're gonna start with you, Brooks. I asked your wife which of the following movie titles best describes your love life. Is it like Fast and Furious, Toy Story, a series of unfortunate events, or Gone with the Wind? The question I heard, well, my question is, is this current or is this just the no. entire duration? Current, current. Gone with the Wind. All right. you, which of the following movie titles best describes your love life? Fast and Furious, Toy Story, a series of unfortunate events or Gone with the Wind? I believe in you. I would probably say Fast and Furious. Yes! That's a match. Give yourselves a kiss. And same for you. Fast and Furious. Yes! That's correct! Okay, now Kelly, we start with you. Well, this part is the best one. So I said, imagine that your husband comes out of the steamy shower in all your glory, right? And I asked her, what do you see? Do you see a stretch limo, a four dump truck, or a little pink Volkswagen with two flat tires? So what do you think she said? <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> stretch limo, four dump truck, or a little pink Volkswagen with two flat tires. It's not flat tires. It's not that one, okay. Oh my God, this is going so well. Okay, stretch limo, a Ford up truck, or a little pink Volkswagen with two flat tires. Believe in yourself. The second one. I just said believe in yourself. No, she said the stretch limo. Sorry. Oh, wow. All right. Jason. We, we know. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm fantastic. And you? Great. <laughs> what do you think that she said? Definitely a stretch limo. And that is the right <laughs> answer. Yes. Brooks. We believe in you. All right, well then, uh, based on current events, I'll go with the flat tires. And she said that, yes! That's the best! Oh, God! Unbelievable! Wow. Last question, gentlemen, last question. Where is the most unique place you ever made? Oh, wow. Look at your kids. Your daughter is like, oh my god. She mentioned like five places. Right? And details and everything. Can my daughter like close her ears or something before I say anything? Okay, kids, cover your ears. Cover your ears. Okay, just cover now. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna tell her. <laughs> um, somewhere on the beach. Uh... That's correct. So what happened? You 
were passing by, and what? <laughs> you decided to stop there for a while? Yeah, I think so. I think we were walking and just decided to, you know, do it on the beach. <laughs> nighttime? Daytime? What time of the day? Was it nighttime, daytime? No, nighttime. Nighttime. Okay, there you go. You're welcome. All right, Lori. This is a great story she told me. But sorry, Kelly. But tell me the mic, where? Legion Stadium. The very <laughs> last. <laughs> you are a hero. We might be the only ones. Oh, we know. Yeah. All right, Brooks. I'd say on the stairs. Ooh. But she didn't say that. She said, in oh. your first date, in the boat. Uh oh. All right. Well, moving on. We're going to check now the scores, but give it up for these three beautiful couples that they came for your entertainment, ladies and gentlemen. Let's check who do we have. But all of them, by the way, are getting a prize. So we have little bottles of champagne for you. Everybody say, oh. Ah. Kelly, this is for you. There you go. I'm shaking. Perfect. And we have, let's see, in third place with 40 points, give it up for Brooks and Barb. Well done. In second place with 50 points, we have Kelly and Lori. But the winners of tonight's Love and Marriage Game Show are Jason and Renee. 55 points. They're getting the Royal Caribbean prize back. And of course, look at this, a couple of set of watches courtesy of the shops on board. Everybody say, oh. But one more time, give it up for these three beautiful couples. Everybody, come on. Stand up, couples, now. We're going to blow a kiss to the audience. Here we go. Stand up now for me, everybody. And we're going to...